No, I think they're just opening it up. I just yeah. think they're giving women a different avenue. I, I don't think we bring anything special. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, men and women are uniquely different. Right. So our coaching styles might be different, and mm-hmm. we may able to be able to reach players in a mm-hmm. different way, mm-hmm. more so than a man. Um, for me, I felt like a lot of – And I just say this personally, I think I have an advantage because I feel like a lot of guys have been raised in single homes. So they're used to hearing their mom's voice get on them in a variety of ways. So I think they're more, Mm. you know, receptive to I'm getting on them as opposed to. You know, you like and K-Mac, it. Yeah. you know, just coming down on them. They're like, who are you talking to? But yeah. they used to their mom talking to them and getting <laughs> right. them straight or yeah. whatever. So initially when they hear me, it's kind of like, he's oh, different, you right? Yeah, like, he's different. Yeah. oh, dang, I guess you right. I got <laughs> you know? right. And I mean, but that's only, that's my perception, but that might be the only uh, difference for some of the guys just because okay. I have heard a lot of guys talk about you can't get on these guys in today's game. So Wow. Wow, that's, interesting. I, that's great perspective. Actually, you, you started by saying no, but look, why you talked to it? I mean, that that was. But that's my that personal was, opinion. I, don't know. I mean, yeah, guys, you, listen, live, guys you, choose to listen you, or not. Like, but you're doing it though. That's the key, yeah. though. You know what I mean? You're, you're actually doing it. You're actually coaching. I also think the biggest. The, I think the biggest thing. A lot of people, I feel like, don't talk about it in the media is just mm-hmm. like you know, I, you know, it's very competitive in the NBA and the G League as I see now. It's yeah. a grind. Um, just been working out at pre-draft you know workouts mm-hmm. learning how to get those guys through that and there are coaches in the g league without jobs like g league coaches people don't understand people are like chas what are you doing are you going back well it's a one-year contract for all g league coaches so, you, okay. so it's year, year to year okay no one knows if they're coming back okay so only the protective players kind of know if they're going to come back next year no, now okay. the hornets can bring me back but my grandma always told me if they ain't said yes yet baby that's a no <laughs> so <laughs> grandma uh, right about that though <laughs> but um really it's just it's women. Is everybody's like, oh, the women are trying to take over the NBA or trying to get in the NBA? But let's let's look at it this way: the WNBA has twelve teams. Right. Out of seven teams, seven head coaches are male, mm. and we're not even going to talk about college. But males have different mm. avenues to coach basketball. Mm-hmm. Women don't. 